What's up? This is Alex with SideQuest Games, bringing you a guide on PB's task Remnant Data Cores. Now, for this quest, you need 9 of these cores, but from my research and personal experience, there are at least 11 in this game, and I'm going to show you those 11 cores today. There is some speculation that parts of this quest are glitched, but with a recent 1.05 update did seem to fix the majority of issues people were having. A lot of these cores I've revealed in other videos, and we'll mention each video that I have linked in the description below. I hope this video assists you as more of a checklist. It is also worth noting due to the nature of mass effect you can reach these points in a variety of ways so i went with the order on how my playthrough was now our first data core in the start of this quest is during the eos vault quest presumably it is either the one pv picks up at the beginning or the one Ryder picks up at the end either way the quest should start for you after eos you will head to vold and progress the story until you are inside the vault once inside the vault there is a large room with terminals all over the place i unfortunately did not catch this in my playthrough but the youtube channel rpg division has a really good video on this vault and I will have a link to their video in the description below and about 214 into the video is where he will show you the data core basically all you're doing is activating these terminals in a certain order and the data core should rise up once you have left Vold, you will head to Elodine. now there are two data cores to pick up on this planet the first will be inside the vault in the northeast corner of the vault in the same room as the glyph chest you will find a remnant console that will open the door simply activate the console and head through the door where your prize awaits I have a full guide on this vault including all the glyph puzzles that will be linked in the description below. Once you are out of the vaults, you are going to head to the secret vault that is located in the bottom left part of the map next to this giant sinkhole. There is some puzzle jumping and glyph puzzles in this mini vault as part of the link dump below. I will also include my full guide for this vault as well. Basically in the last room, you'll jump down to the data core. After that, you'll head to Gadara, where you will journey into the Purification Vault there. This data core is located behind a puzzle door that requires you to activate six consoles in order to open them. I will have a link below for my full guide on this vault, but here is the answer key as well. After Kadara, you will head to Vold and begin the task Subjugation. For a full rundown of this quest, I will have a link to my video. Once you're at the end of the quest, there's a room inside this mini vault that has a data core just floating for you to take. Now, after that, you will progress pretty much towards the end of the game. This one can be a little easy to miss. You will have to activate two consoles to activate this remnant city. This area is to the right in the same area where you will learn some history about the Angara. To the right of this room is a platform that will pop out of the wall that you can jump on and activate the console that will open the door in the adjacent part of the room. Simply head down there and get your data core. Now, the final four data cores are a little tougher to obtain. Once you've settled the planet, you will receive a quest from that settlement that eventually leads to fighting a remnant architect. For those of you who have played Dragon Age Inquisition, these are very reminiscent of the dragon battles. After killing the architect, it is very, very important that you loot the chest that appears in front of it because this chest has your data core in it. As far as I'm aware, the data core isn't listed as an item in the chest or when you scan the architect. It seems to just progress the quest after you open the chest. It's possible that this might be different for you since I did do this before the 1.05 update. If you are having some trouble killing these architects or figuring out where to find them or how to unlock the quest for them, I will have complete guidance guides coming very soon for all four architects on all four settlement worlds. Once you have nine data cores, you will get some XP and a new codex entry about the data cores. After that, head to your email on your ship to see an email from PB. Now, in this video, I had two emails from her. The first one referenced EOS, and I assume this email was supposed to send after the vault on EOS, but it was just glitched for me. The second email is about the conclusion of this quest. From my playthrough, at least, this seems to be it. No cutscene or anything, just the email, XP, and a codex entry. If you ended up getting more than that, definitely do us all a favor and let us know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if this guide was able to help you. While you are down there, please leave a like and maybe subscribe. This is Alex with SideQuest Games.